departed. Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to some more Departed. I'm on episode 7 right now guys, I think it's episode 7 anyway, I'm losing count. I'm doing them that fast. Now, I've actually sat down today and done 4 recordings all in a row and I'm going to be doing a live stream straight after this recording on this pack. Don't worry guys, the live streams are not going to cover any kind of progression with any of the mods. I'm, you're not going to miss a thing. Literally the live streams are going to be there so I can go mining and then you know chat with people about what is the next step to go for, how to do certain things, get some kind of uh, information on the pack. But do not worry guys, nothing. You will not see, uh, you will not miss any kind of uh, progression through this. So I made a back door, because it was doing my editing guys. I made a back door, which is ledge, but I also, look at that guys. It looks very square, let's be quite honest, it does look very square, but it's now done. This is the little Tinker's Construct room that we've got right here with the stuff there. This is actually the Chisel 2 cobblestone, you just stick it in a chisel, which I've got right here. Stick the cobblestone in the chisel and then pick out the uh, the cobblestone bricks that I've got. This is uh, borderless glass, which is also from chisel, just put glass in your chisel and you can get borderless glass, which is what I like. I don't like that texture, it's, you know, in the in there. And uh, I've got a load of drying racks here so that I can hang all of my um, plates, my casts on there. And I've got a load, a load of casts, guys. I've got a load of casts today. So I'm just going to pop that one onto the, onto the wall. I've got a load of casts because I actually want to start making some uh, tools. I'm making better tools than what I've currently got. So you can see Toff's pick right there. It's mining level iron. It's not exactly great, guys. I'm going to go back home, go and grab some more stuff. Ooh. Must be my uh, my expedition. Again, I'm not entirely sure what they give you. Do they give you extra bonuses? I'm not quite sure. I mean, guys, as well, this this series is doing really well, and I am so much, and I am really enjoying this so much. Um, so if you are enjoying it along with me, don't forget, guys, to please, 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 please go ahead and, and leave a like. It would be really good if you could, and uh, I do appreciate it absolutely massively. So let's go ahead and put um, an iron. <clears throat> an iron head on our pickaxe that we've got. Why not? And that will help us go ahead and mine those diamonds that we've got. I'm just going to put that into there. And, uh, I think we only need the one because it's a one thing. Uh, a one thing. Um, yeah. I, there's, uh, now I did see something that Steve's workshop is actually in here, so I might want to actually get some. Oh, hang on a minute. Unnamed block. Report to mod author. Uh, this is a workshop. This is a workbench from uh, from Steve's workshop, and it's it's great. I love this mod, so I might actually go and make a lot of these. But the only thing is, I want to move this house. This house looks horrendous. I've got to say, I want to move this house, and I've got an idea of, of building a house just off the back here, and then having it on a big platform in the middle of the sea. That way, because um, nothing really, sp I haven't seen much spawn in the sea, if anything at all. So I think we'll be safe safer out there. The only thing is we've got one way on and one way off, so I kind of like, uh, you know, end up shooting myself in the foot, I think. But we'll get this and we'll stick that on the pick. It needs to be fully repaired as well, so we're going to have to go back home and get some cobblestone. Hey up guys, bogey at R6 there. Oh, come off it. Stop being smart. Yeah, right in the face. Right in the face. So, the reason why I've forced myself into Tinkers is because this hot shot is not going to last forever, guys. And we're going to need another ranged weapon. So that's why I started on some Tinkers so we can get a crossbow or a bow or something at least that we can fight with uh, for the time being. So let me grab this. What am I doing? That in there, like that. Oh yeah! And guys, because I've been using my Tinkers pick, to go out mining and do a couple of bits and bobs. I actually got a couple of upgrades. One of them was an extra modifier, and the other one was Fortune 1, which is fantastic. So I've got uh, an upgrade on that. Let me go ahead and see if... Is it that way around and then that? Yeah, there we go. Look, there we go. A durability of 250, a durability of 131. Mining speed goes up as well. Great, I like that. That is good. Effective durability, 277. Effective durability... Where is it? It doesn't say effective durability, because that's got the, uh, hmm. Oh well, let's take it anyway. Now we can go ahead and uh, my, uh, level that up as well. The thing is, I really want to get that limonite, but I do not want to dip into the diamonds that I, did I use diamonds? Where did I put the diamonds? 
I never mined the diamonds, did I? I never actually mined the diamonds. Um, and I do want to get a sword. In fact, let's just... Let me get some cobblestone so I can actually repair these. No, because that's not a Tinker's one, is it? That's just a normal one. So is that one. What a waste of... Uh, what a waste of, of iron. I wonder if we can smelt them back up and put them into uh, into iron. I'm not quite sure. We'll find. We'll figure it out. We will find out in a second, guys. So, I don't need two iron swords anyway because I'm going to make a better sword. I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to chuck this in here. Do, will this melt down? It looks like it is actually melting down. So we could get some iron back from that, which is fantastic. I don't need you right now. I have been thinking about either doing a mattock or doing separate hatchet and a shovel. The thing is that the mattock is great and it does three jobs in one. Whoops. But the only problem with this is it only really works well as a shovel through dirt. It doesn't work well as a shovel through sand or gravel or anything like that and it actually becomes a hindrance in the end. So um, I think the best thing to do is to go ahead and actually make a shovel and hatchet uh, with the bits and bobs that we're going to get. So I need some wood because I'm not using stone as a as a tool rod and at some stage as well guys I do want to go ahead and um, make some barrels and stuff so that I can mass put this stuff in I'm gonna end up with a whole load of seeds that I'm never gonna plant so I'm gonna just shove them in a barrel and forget about them or at least hopefully that's gonna be the case so let's get some more wood in fact we'll get some sticks we'll put them there so I'm gonna need a tool rod for both of these so yeah, I think you can still use sticks, so I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this, but never mind, it'll be fine. And the tool station, we just need that, and also that. So I want a couple, you, and you're a hatchet, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, two iron ingots, brilliant. So we've literally taken our sword that we've got and melted it back down into something that we're actually going to use. So let's go ahead and pop that to there. Get that brilliant and let's go ahead and make these so the tool rods there hatchet so toffs axe nice and then the tool rod and the shovel and that will be toffs shovel great and we could just get rid of these uh, stone axe and stone shovels now I hate doing this because I like to get all the durability out of them, but uh, I'm just going to chuck them in there and forget about them now. Uh, the hoe is something that we can actually make a tinker's uh, thing for, but like I said, the mattock will do that. Um, but for the moment, I'm never going to use a hoe that much to warrant actually making just a mattock to do that. So the stone hoe will just stay as it is. So going forwards then, I've been looking at bows, guys, and I really want to get a type of bow, but... Um, hmm. It has to be pretty fat. Oh, as well, guy, the, uh, void boots. When I went mining, there was this thing that I killed, and it actually dropped me some void boots, which is fantastic. A nice protection of three there. Um, that was another thing in the in previous episodes. I did say about that leather, because it is actually the same as doing uh, iron armor. Is this hardened leather? But I'm going to need a lot of leather and beeswax, which I can get from the candleberries. So it's not really not that hard to to. Uh, to craft this and that's probably what I'm gonna go for early game until I can manage to get you know limonite and stuff like that so that I can start making some of the armors from advent of ascension but for the moment guys the tool station will only let me build a short bow oh, it's getting night time no we don't want this we don't want this guys we want to get inside quick is that something behind my house right there right there I can just see it Oops, I shut the door before I've even done anything. It did look like it was behind my house. Maybe it was just my brain. I don't know. A short bow. If I was to get a short bow then, looking at the tool station, if I was to go for a short bow, I'd also need arrows. Um, yeah. Two bow limbs and a bow string. So, bow limb. Bow limb. Now, I've never, ever, ever built anything, uh, well, a, a bow, should I say, with Tinker's Construct. So I'm not entirely sure what could be good and what isn't good. So you have to bear with me a second here, guys, as I look through. 
Do we not have any... Can we not use iron for bow limbs? I don't know. Let's go ahead and... Where is my bow limb anyway? That's it up there, look. We can use iron. Okay, well why are you not showing up on here then? Because I would have thought that iron... Iron limb. No. Iron bow. There it is. Iron bow limb. The draw speed is 2.7 seconds. The arrow speed is 5.2. Um, I'm just going by what I've got. So a copper. There. Would be 2 seconds. So it's faster at the drawback. But the arrow speed is slower. Am I right by saying that? Let me get that. Two seconds, 4.9. Okay. And then the iron bowling is 2.7, but it is faster. And 0.7 of a second. The durability is much better on it as well, though. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out exactly which one I would like to go for with this stuff that we've got. Tin. Oh, I don't think tin's got anything really, has it? We could we could make bronze actually. Can we make bronze bow limbs? We can. That would be that would be a slower draw speed, bigger, much better durability. So we're looking at 2.25 with a 5.1 arrow speed and a massive improvement on the durability of it. A massive improvement. Hmm. It might not be a bad idea making some bronze anyway to replace the head of that pick. I know I've just literally got it, but, uh, no, never mind. We still need to actually level that up, which we don't actually need to do it too much to level it up. It's ni already at 94% for mining level, so that'd be fine. I think bronze, guys. I think bronze. Uh, now, the thing is, I don't have a Tinker's Book. Tinker's Construct. The, um... Smelt. There it is. Mighty Smelter. Which is... How do we make one of them? Just the normal book. How do we make one of them? A blank pattern and a bit of paper. Okay. Well, I can get that. Blank pattern and a bit of paper over there. And then we can go ahead and make this. I, I always forget. I'm sure it's like one co uh, one tin and three copper. But I, uh, you know what I'm like, guys. I always forget this stuff. Now the paper I put down here. And then we'll get the chief. Ding. Oh, no, we won't get the chief. Is that 1.8 you get the chief? No, it's not the chief, is it? There we go. Oh, well, there you go. That's got me the chief. Bronze is three copper and one tin. I was right in the first place. And we're going to want something to make the bow limbs, which is a 1.5 material cast uh, cost. So we need three, because we need two bow limbs per one. Uh, also, let me think. In the tool station here, we do need bow string. And I don't think we've got enough string for that, so I might have to go out looking for some of that. Alright, shovel, axe, great. Bow limbs in there. So three copper and one tin. That should actually make me four bronze. Well, at least it th I think it should. And I'll be back when the bronze is done. Okay, guys, we've got a little bit of a problem. So we do have four ingots, which is fantastic, but we've got a little bit of a problem with what we're going to do, and I don't have any string. That is the big problem. I don't have any goddamn string. So we're going to have to go out there and try and find a um, string plant, or a cotton plant, not a string plant, a cotton plant, um, and then bring that home for us to be able to use. So, let me put that up there, get the ingot cast, because we've got a spare bronze ingot in there. In fact, no. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to put it straight into here. And use it to upgrade my pickaxe at least a little bit more. Because why not? But I'm not going to put it on there yet until um, that has actually leveled up its mining level. Rather than skipping, we will do it properly. And yeah, I'm going to need to go out and see if I can find any uh, plants. I haven't been looking for them, so I may have seen them at some stage in the past, but I've just never bothered picking them up. Uh, so I'm going to go out and see if I can find some, and I'll be right back. Well, we have a lotto man whose profession is a farmer, apparently. I don't know what this is, guys. Apparently, we need something that you'll never mine up these rewards, and we probably won't, actually. There's some gem bags in there. Magic repair dust. A load of magic repair dust, but it needs gold coins and stuff. And I've got no idea... Oh, my God. We're going to need to run backwards. Maybe there's a, a... We can make the silver coins, or do we have to... Uh, we probably have to kill things 
that give us the silver coins, which is the, a shame. But I'm going to try to run back home really quick and, uh, and, and save myself from death. That would be really nice. And um, still, I can't find the, the cotton plants. And I don't know if I'm looking in the right place, but usually I'm shot pretty positive that they were in like forest biomes and stuff, which is where we are. So I'm pretty positive. Anyway, let me do this and I'll be back. Well, out and about, guys, I am by that village. Now, this is somewhere where I never actually explored. Um, I'm still trying to find them goddamn uh, cotton plants. But unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to see any. Oops, I dropped right off there, didn't I? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. I dealt with him. And it's night time now. So you know what, guys? I'm just going to dig into this house right here. They won't notice. <laughs> and then uh, just, like, fill this back in. Don't mind me, guys. Just dropping in for the night. There we go. And where's my torch? It's gone. There they are. Ah. Much better. I'll, uh, hole here, uh, I'll hole up here for the night, guys, and I'll be back. Gold gravel ore, guys. Not only that, but I did manage to find, or whilst I was harvesting this gravel ore, um, there is, right behind me, a great wood tree. Now, an actual one of them things popped out and tried to kill me, the cave spiders. Uh, what can I drop here? Oh, no, I don't really want to drop anything. The poppies will have to go, I'm afraid. It's not as if I can't get them easily anyway. But all of this stuff I want. Um, and I did kill a cave spider, which means I do have one uh, string. But that's not exactly what I'm after, guys. I am not after that at all. What I'm after... It's the bloody cotton plant, and I still cannot find it. But let's go and have a quick look, guys, at what's in this chest. Um, ooh, a couple of mana steel ingots is not a bad thing. I'm going to leave everything in there, though, for the moment, because that's, I've got a full inventory, and it's not what I'm after. I'm after these bloody cotton seeds, and I really, for the life in me, cannot find a wild cotton plant anywhere. I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong place or what, but I just cannot find one. Um... Which is a problem, of course, because I need it. I really do need it. And, uh... I, would have, I could swear it was either in the plains or in the forests where you could find it. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm not doing a very good job of finding one. Well, at least this search has turned up something, and I don't quite know what this is. I've never seen this before in my life. Maybe it's a dungeon, maybe it's just some decorative blocks that I can go ahead and nab. I have no idea. I can't actually mine these. I don't know what this is, guys. I have not a clue what this thing is. Hmm. Wait a second, because there was something on the edges. So you can't actually mine it. It's, un it's unminable. It does look like a bit of an entrance, this bit. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't seem to go anywhere or do anything. Not entirely sure what that is, guys, but uh, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments section what that is whilst I go over to this plains over here and see if I can't find any goddamn cotton plant. Oh, guys, I can see them. I can see them, the textile gardens. I was looking to see where they actually spawned in temperate forests, which apparently this is where there is one. Unfortunately, we seem to be surrounded by quite a few charges. Just take a, take a hit, boy. Take a hit another one. There we go. Brilliant. Um, just need to try to get past these charges. There's them sim, them sim, you guys. It's all over. For them, that is. It's all over for them. Look at him trying to hide behind the tree there. Didn't work, fella. Good stuff. Can't pick that up, apparently. There we go. So, textile gardens. Here they are. Oh, my God, it's taken forever to be able to find these. So, um, what do I want to drop? I don't really want to drop anything, if I can help it. But I suppose we can go with that. Let's just go and break this, and then we got a load of cotton. Brilliant. Now I can make my way back home. Okay, now I'm back at home. I've gone and got my cotton. I've sorted my inventory out just a tiny little bit, so that I can start actually growing some of this cotton. Um, now I believe it is... Is it two pieces for a string? Or is it three pieces? Okay, it's three pieces for one string. Fair enough. So I'm going to go ahead and make three cotton seeds, also keeping three, so that I can get the string that I need and we can finally 
My god, taking nearly the whole episode. It wasn't a wasted trip though. We did find other bits and bobs, guys, that uh, is going to be really, really useful for us. I'm going to plant that cotton. There's an enderman just, just like standing there. This is a great position for me, actually. There we go. Look at that. Our first ender pearl as well. Brilliant. Just stood right underneath here so that he couldn't, grab, uh, he couldn't get me. So let's have a look and see how we go about crafting this bowstring. Um, which I think you do it inside here. I think you'd literally do it with just um, this. It's a material cost of three. One, two, three. No? There we go. The bowstring. Which uh, draw speed of one, durability of one, and an arrow speed of one. What can we actually make this out of? Enchanted fabric as well, really? Um, bowstring. What does that actually give you then? Oh man, it gives you a minus for that. Why would it? It's harder to craft. Why would you do that? Oh well, string is obviously the best way of doing things. Let's go ahead into the tool station then and make ourselves our very first Tinker's Bow. There we go. Toff's Bow. <laughs> Toff's Bow. There we go. Now it doesn't finish there guys, we do actually need to make some arrows for this as well. So we need some fletching, another tool rod, or a stick in this case, and some arrowheads. So, um, thinking of arrowheads... Ooh. Oh, it's one of them. Okay. Thinking about arrowheads. Where are you? There you are. What actually cost are you? One. Okay. Um, do we want to go ahead? What kind of arrowheads would be best? Bronze would surely be... Would they be too, like, soft? Oh, not, maybe? I don't know. Um, throwing knives. Arrowheads. There they are. Um... 120% break chance, 3.2 weight, 550 durability. What about the iron arrowheads? 250 durability at only an 80% break chance rather than 120% break chance. The durability though, the weight 3.3 .3 is very similar weight, but the durability is 250 on it, meaning we don't get much back for that. Um, copper. Where's the arrowheads for copper? Am I blind? I think I'm actually blind, guys. There it is. So, I think actually iron would uh, looks like it's the best way of being able to get that. Let me go and grab some iron. Oh, no, look at this guy here. You're a bit thick, aren't you, fella? Why can't I hit you? What? That's a bit harsh, that. There you go. stuff. The unlucky thing is that we do have things like literally littering. There, look. Look at them. These things are actually really easy to kill with the hot shot. Because obviously they have a weakness to fire. But, uh, whoa, 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 step away. But when they hit you, they hit you and it bloody hurts. They whack you up into the air like you wouldn't believe. There we go. Dealt with? Are we dealt with now? I think we are. God, go away, what is with you guys? Just won't leave me alone today, will you? It's always when I'm recording. When I'm not recording, they don't seem to bother me as much, but when I'm recording, that's it, they're in there. They're trying to photobomb me, guys, that's what it is. They're trying to photobomb me. Alright, got some bone meal there so I can grow the cotton crop if I needed to. But I didn't, so we're okay. Um, it's only a cost of one, but I'm. Should I? No. I'm going to take it with me anyway. Um, I need feathers. Which I kept on me for the thing anyway. But, right. Let's go. Let's go. I like this little farm. This little farm is doing me really, really well so far. It's doing really well. So let me go ahead and melt those down. I think you can repair them with iron, so I only need one anyway. Let's go and make the other bits and bobs while we're here. So we take that out. We need the fletching. So there we go. What else fletching can we use? Oak leaves? You can really use leaves for that. That's really bad. Um, so we'll take that. That will help us. The tool station. Fletching. Stick. And then we just need the arrowhead. And this is finally melted down. And then we've finally got the uh, another ranged weapon to use in the place of the hotshot. 
There we go. Because that hot shot is quickly running out now, guys. Iron arrows, only 25. Really? Well, let's test this bad boy out. We've got, um, what damage does it do? Oh, not a great deal of damage. Only four hearts worth of damage. Well, we'll give it a try anyway. But at least it's better than absolutely no ranged weapon whatsoever. But it's, it's no hot shot, is it? It's no hot shot. Let's try on these. Boom! Boom! There's two shots. Three shots. Okay, so three shots seems to be enough for the Sk Sasquatches. There we go. Three shots for the Sasquatches. Which usually with a hot shot there would be two shots. It's not too bad, but when you get a charger, when, the, when they're charging at you, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. That's the Cyclops over there. Go on, boy. Oh, there's a cow just like up there. Where did that come from? Okay, this guy's a little bit harder. There we go. Done. Well, and the fact that we've only got 25 arrows, though. I'll go and try and pick some up. That might help. That might help matters as well. 15. So at least we've got another ranged weapon now, which we can just store away for the moment until we've uh, done our bits and bobs. But that's going to be it to, uh, for the end of this episode, guys. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please, please, please go ahead and leave a like. I will try to keep these episodes coming thick and fast for you guys because I know that some of them don't actually contain uh, much progression uh, in, in, in a ways, I suppose. But uh, hopefully you're still enjoying it. I am. I certainly am enjoying it. And while I'm enjoying it, guys, it means I'll be pumping these episodes out and hopefully getting them out you know, really fast for you guys so that you've got content to watch all the time. But anyway, until then, guys, until next time, I've been the Softman as always. Stay safe.